Now that we've got our files open, uh, let's explore the imagery a little bit. And a really helpful uh, tool for this is this little um, red cursor value tool. And so it will show you some information, make it a little smaller here. It will show you information about um, wherever these red crosshairs are, are located. So um, the, these data are georeferenced, and so it can tell you it's the, the position that that guy is and different coordinates. Um, the projected coordinate system is UTM zone 13 north, WGS 84. If you've taken Geography 201 or know a little bit about geographic data, that information means something to you. Um, it's got information about the file being highlighted. And again, this is um, NN20 ends. This is the only one that's being checked right now. And then it's got this value here, which is saying 54. And that let's zoom way in on this thing. That 54, that is the, the pixel value at that particular location that we're, we're looking at. And um, the pixel value is uh, basically the, the, the darker um, the color, the lower the pixel value. And the lighter the color, let's go to a, a brighter location, maybe up on the mountains here, um, the higher the value. Right? And so these are the data values, the digital numbers that are being, being shown right, right here. And I'm talking about um, pixel values. We can understand a little bit about the expected size of the pixels for this image um, by, by right-clicking here on go, and going to View Metadata. And if you do that, let me bring this into, into frame, there's information about this, this raster. So this is where the file is located. This is the size. It's a TIFF. It has... 9,092 columns and 8,016 rows. You can think about the data as basically being a, a, a grid of, of cell values. There's a single band here um, and the data are in data type byte and the interleave is BSQ. Uh, don't worry about that too much for right now. If we look at map info, we can see this is projected um, and we can also see this pixel size information. That's That means that and we're working in meters, the units are meters, so each pixel is 28.5 meters, 28.5 meters, that's each pixel. If I close this guy, um, I should have a measuring tool, and here it is, uh, measuring, and I want my units to be in meters, that's good, and I want to, uh, I'm going to zoom way in here, and I'm going to make a little bit of a measurement. Um, and so this is about 20 meters right here. Okay, great. Um, I must have two vertices. So if I also measure from here to here, this is about 20, 20 meters. But there's some, there's some apparent blurriness change happening here that is finer than the pixel resolution of the image. And I actually don't like that. I don't, I don't like that NV showing us this. And so we have different ways of displaying the data. And what I'd like to actually do is change the interpolation method that it's using to nearest neighbor, which is going to be a more clean representation of what the actual data look like in terms of the pixel sizes, right? So each pixel is a discrete value. And if we now measure one of these guys, we should see, I don't know where my measuring tool went, um, but if I want to measure this guy here to here, yep, looks like about 28 and a half. That's, that's the pixel that's the pixel width. And so looking at it in, in nearest neighbor, and I'll do that again. So uh, change interpolation. So we could do bilinear, which I think was the default. I could do another one uh, by cubic, right? And you can see, oh, it's sort of changing how this, how this data looks optimized by cubic. And again, the, the most honest, in quotes, uh, version that is related to the actual pixel size um, from the, 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 the raw sensor is the, the nearest neighbor. And so that's what I would suggest we, we use for looking at the different, different bands. A couple other things to note um, in this sort of introduction to um, uh, introduction. I'm going to clear this guy and I'm going to go back to my cursor uh, location value. So now, again, this is tied to this particular um, uh, pixel, right? And so Within those pixel values, those are the data values I'm seeing. For this particular band, if I turn on another band, band 1, up oh, and same kind of deal, and I think there's a setting we can change um, to make the default um, the nearest neighbor, 
Now when I click at a place, you'll see that I, it, at, for that same location, because I have two of these guys turned on, I'm seeing the data values for band one and band two at the same time. And I could turn on band three and band four. Um, and again, I'd wanna change that setting, change interpolation to nearest neighbor, and same here, change interpolation to nearest neighbor. Um, but where I click now, I'm getting the data values for all of those bands which are which are turned on. And we can see there's some interesting differences between these guys. This same location in band four has a value of 60, in band three, 124, in band one, 116, and band two, 110. And that again is because of different behavior of uh, different parts of the electromagnetic spectrum um, as it hits surfaces, they bounce off in different amounts and reflect in different amounts. And that's, you know, what we're seeing in terms of these different data values. And we can use that to, to do different types of analyses. Um, up here, we also have this go to function. And we can use this to determine which row and column on the image we're interested in seeing. So if I go to 1 1 and I hit enter, it's going to show, and I'm going to zoom out and we can sort of see what's going on here, right? That put me up here in the corner, right? So this is the first column, first row position. Um, if I change this to like a thousand uh, by one, what happens? It shifts me over to to this column, right? And similarly, if I change this guy from one and then a thousand here, it's going to push me down in this way, right? So you can go to uh, particular row column locations uh, using this go to function up up here. So we've talked a little bit about uh, information you can glean from the metadata of the, the files. Um, we've talked a little bit about the uh, cursor location value. Um, and hopefully this is useful information for you guys as you're working through the, the lab.